In the days following his parents' death, Richard Taylor was being watched by police. In the man's double murder trial today, the court heard that sometimes he was seen by police limping and walking with a cane. Other times he walked easily. As Kelly Botello tells us, the Crown is trying to prove that Taylor's injury was all part of a plan. On July 7th, 2018, two days before his parents' house went up in flames, medical records show Richard Taylor went to an Oakville hospital in crutches, saying he fell down his mother's stairs and hurt his knee. The next day, hours before the fire, he's seen walking around Shoppers Drug Mart with ease. On July 9th, 2018, there was a fire at his mother and stepfather's Dundas home. Investigators say it was arson and Taylor immediately became a suspect because before he died, his stepfather, Alan Rutherford, told several people Rich did it. Hours after the fire, Taylor was called to the police station for an interview. This time, he's back to using a cane and has a limp. Why would someone fake a leg injury two days before the fire? The Crown asked the jury last week. It's an important detail to the Crown's case, one that took up the majority of today's testimony. Hamilton police officers were surveilling Taylor for weeks after the incident, and several officers testified that for the most part, Taylor was walking just fine, even on the same days that he would later show up to the police station with a cane. Alan Rutherford's daughter, Amelia Ryan, was called to testify today and said when the family went to speak with police after the fire, investigators told Taylor that Rutherford told people it was him who did it. Rutherford's daughter testified that Taylor was surprised and said that he didn't understand how police could think he could have done such a thing with his injured leg. The trial by jury continues tomorrow. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.